So this is going to be the first video in a short series where we're going to be learning about all the new features in the latest version of JavaScript, also known as ES6. So in this video we're going to be learning about the new keyword that comes in this version of JavaScript called let. We were used to creating variables with the var keyword but now we can use let as well. And there are a couple of differences between those two ways of creating variables. So as you can see here on the article on how code, the first difference is that when you create a variable with the var keyword, you can call that variable using window.thevariable's name, but you can't do that with let. So here's an example variable called my variable and if I just try to print that out it works as you'd expect and I can also say window.my variable and print that out and it works as you would expect. But now if I create a second variable and I use the let keyword instead of var and I hit enter I can print it out as normal but if I try to call window.second variable it's going to tell us it's undefined. And the second difference between using var and using let is that when we use the var keyword the variable is scoped to the nearest function block and when we use let it's scoped to the nearest enclosing block. So that's demonstrated down here. So in this function we're using the var keyword. So we're creating a for loop, we're creating a variable called i and we're using var to create that variable. And you can see here that the variable i is accessible above our for loop and below our for loop and within our for loop. That's because the var keyword is scoped to the nearest function block which is this. So when we create a variable inside of our for loop it's accessible outside the for loop so long as it's still within the function. With let it's the nearest enclosing block. So up here you can see we have a for loop and we are using let to create our variable and we're creating the variable within the for loop which is a block. And you can see it's a block because we have a closing curly bracket and an opening curly bracket. So the variable is accessible within that block but it's not accessible above the closing block or below it. So a better example would be this here. We have an if statement which is always true and it creates a variable called i and it uses the var keyword to create that variable. So the variable is in scope and it still exists in memory for the duration of our function, which is why if I call console.log i outside the block, it will still work. But here, if I do the exact same thing, I run an if statement that's always true and I use the let keyword. After the if statement exits, the i variable goes out of scope and we're not gonna be able to access it anymore. So this is gonna give us undefined. Whereas up here, it's not gonna give us undefined because it's still within scope because we're still within our function. As you can see, the first time we run it, it works, we get 10 printed out. And the second time, we get this error because the variable is not defined. So that's it for this really quick video. In the next video, we're gonna be learning about arrow functions in the latest version of JavaScript. If you wanna learn ahead, you can go to this how code article. There'll be a link in the description and you can jump ahead to all the things we're gonna be learning about in the next videos. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. But that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.